This is a normal day in the life of Todd and Rob. True. <laughs> Welcome to our normal life. <laughs> you only think this is for the camera. Ah! You only think this is for the camera, but it's definitely not. Excuse me! Squeeze me! Hey! Hey, welcome back to the vlog! So if you haven't noticed, uh, our rails up there look fantastic. So we worked on that in the last video, but... So what are we doing this weekend? Uh, yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is put in the light on the radio. Um, the old light radio that we are fixing up on the Q&A video. Um, I'm gonna put a light in it so it'll look real and we can turn it on and off ourselves. Uh, oh, there's a squirrel. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and then we're gonna show you um, show you the lights outside um, that we put out around the landscaping. We realized that we hadn't done an outdoor tour during the day, so hopefully we'll be able to show you what how we've kind of um, put those out there, and then do a tour later on tonight, so you can see them a little bit better at night. So we've got the solar lights, we've got other lights out there as well. We've got lights shooting up a bunch of the trees, and not to mention uh, we are actually gonna go on a quick weekend adventure. So. We've got some friends staying here at the cabin, so we're gonna tidy up before we leave tomorrow, and so we're gonna bring along on all the adventures. <laughs> Come on, we're excited, we're eager, we're excited. And, and Wally, Wally is, is gonna knock the camera. Yeah, right? as usual, so. All right, come along. Why do you keep this hat? Figure out to fix it. Because this doesn't look good, remember? <laughs> mm. I can't hear you. Uh, we move the 80 pound rider out Yeah, oh, I dread this. It doesn't tell you how heavy it is, does it? Time to get this behemoth outside. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm glistening in the wind. Radio time. 1930s radio time. Here we go. Isn't this cute? We saw this for three dollars at the little local. Um, what do you call it? Thrift store. Thrift store. Was it three or six dollars? Uh, just this, not the stuff inside. Oh yeah, the stuff inside is just rock collectibles. So what we have here is a 1937 Spartan radio that we took the guts out because they're no longer working. But we wanted to make this stay and light up. This is gonna be mounted right here. And then I've got a light that's gonna be illuminating it from the back. There were three dials on here, or three knobs. This was one of the original ones. There were two missing, so Todd found these two on eBay. Thanks, eBay. And put them on there just to kind of make it look like something old. 
but I'm gonna just basically screw it in to the back and then this will just plug in. And I've got a little clicker thing that I'm gonna put on it so you can just turn it on and off with a clicker. But for right now, that's kind of what we're gonna do to illuminate the back of the light. All right, now we're gonna take you outside to show you some of the lights that we put up. We've got a couple more to add as well, so. But it's looking so good. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. This guy never stops working. <laughs> So we're outside now and we're hey. going to take you on a quick tour around here. Yeah, so, so it's landscape lighting tour time. <laughs> so outside we have a whole lot of different kits basically that are set up. There's a combination of wired solar um, and you know that, that kind of works out well because we only keep them on timers when we're not here they're not on so um, so that helps out with like power and stuff like that too. And Yeah so down here we have a combination of these, um, they're all solar. Um, but we tried these out to see if they would scare away the deer, um, the movement we thought might. But... Doesn't didn't. quite work. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have some solar lights here too as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. So these are the ones that are flush. They go straight to the ground and they give like a nice glow when you're, um, when they come on at nighttime. They're a dust to dawn sort of. Let's move over to the ferns. How about that? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so on the ferns we have a wired kit. It has eight landscaping lights that are for the, the um, sidewalk lights. They come on at dusk and go off at dawn. Uh, let's see, and then as part of this wired kit, it also has four spotlights. And so the spotlights, we put two down there to shine on the steps there. And then we have the other two hidden on the back side of the steps that shoots up on the hill. So we have about eight of these little guys. They're completely solar. And the nice thing about those and why I've been using those is where it's difficult to wire and hide the wiring, I've been using these because you can just pop them anywhere. As long as they've got some sun, you're good to go. Um, and then on the hill here, we have a set of eight that are all wired. Um, there's less uh, sunlight under the trees and stuff, so that provides the uplighting that you see at nighttime. Yeah, so up here we have more of the under, the, the, the flush mount, we'll call them, <laughs> um, that that shine up into the lights and then we have these around the edges just to mainly keep people from falling off the side of 
the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a, a wired set of four that are for up lighting. So that's what you see at nighttime off the deck. It's uh, it looks really nice. I think. Um, and otherwise it's just, it's really, really, really dark. <laughs> you really can't see anything. Just to point out, we have lights going down the driveway as well. We have solar lights on, on both sides. Yeah, so down here it's the same as the, the flush mount ones that go straight into the ground. And yeah, we've got lighting all over the place right now, so. Ready to go scorpion hunting. They don't hang out every night. Oh, there's one. Ooh. Can you see him? Yeah, creepy. Watch him in the daylight. Can you see him? He's brown. It's hard to see. But as soon as you turn the lights on him, ooh, you gotta see him there. Ooh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's in attack mode. Coming up next on a dramatic episode of Scorpion Hunters. Oh, no, Georgia. that's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get the idea. Bye, y'all. Be safe. Bye. Be safe on your journeys. <laughs> we'll see you when you ford the river and get back from the Oregon Trail. <laughs>
I feel like that gives us something to do while we're kind of low key. Right now, it's just so gorgeous out here. I can see like three or four layers of mountains with like rain clouds and rain going in between them, like big thunder clouds everywhere. It's wonderful. And the forecast has 70s and 50s yeah. for the highs and lows coming up soon. So it's going to be really feeling like fall when we get to the 50s at night, Tom. Yeah. Oh man, I can't so wait. Soon enough, it's going to be orange leaves and pumpkin weather. It's that time again. Time to spruce up our window boxes. We're gonna be putting in some pansies and mums today to make it feel more like fall around here. How does that sound? So, for mums in the fall, at least in our zone in the south, you can plant these in the ground or you can plant them in planters. And um, if you plant them in the ground, then you usually want to be snipping off the new growth until July or August or so and then you just let them go crazy and then they'll bloom in the fall but for pansies they actually grow throughout the whole winter here so um, they should look pretty good for a while hopefully we can get them to, to get pretty big so cauliflower steak <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful steak and potatoes time <laughs> steak and potato vegan style yep so again we're sick so we're trying to do as much as we can <clears throat> with the sniffles <laughs> sniffles that's the, the clinical term so we're trying to make comfort food steak and potatoes sounds pretty comforting cauliflower steak is actually what we're making so it's a pretty good recipe it's pork over knives we'll link it down in the bottom of the description so 
get to it. I was gonna wear this hat at the festival. Now I'm just gonna wear it here. I'm his sous chef. Who's Sue? Sue? Sue, or I don't even know her! Just wait. <laughs> Excuse me. I want one of those cauliflower steaks, please. Can I get my medium well? It'll go right through him. <laughs> Hope you like garlic. Keeps the vampires away. Hey! Mmm. Yeah, but I need to get it in the refrigerator. Mmm. Gosh, I feel like we're on one of those TV shows where everything's too small, too crowded. Sweet Jesus. Husbands Todd and Rob have just encountered a... <laughs> what is it? Husbands Todd and Rob are looking for their dream home. They have a $1.5 million budget. We are not going to win any awards for like chopping abilities. People cringe. I just get it done. No rhyme or reason to it, really. But it's done. That's what matters. <laughs> we at the club. What movie are we going to watch tonight that's fall inspired? I don't know. Oh, his arms don't bend in. Mm. He needs rotator cuff surgery. But, um, <laughs> Look at that. Yum. Alrighty, bon appetit. Bye guys. <laughs> We're really going now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus tonight. How about that? That sounds good. Love right. A little bit of HP. All right. Take my Wally. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, you're your best. It's gonna be a good night. Around us. Yep, just gonna pretend that's not gonna sting my hand. Oh. <laughs> so, if you. We're little tidy cats, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs>